You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Girl, I'll cover you when the sky comes crashing in. I'll go the distance, lead the way to your darkest sin. Mark Walton, you're here to talk about Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, Unity. 7 out of 10. Review went up this morning. It did go up this morning. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's good. Yes. I had no idea. I had no idea how much worse this series would get. It took me so fucking long to review this piece of shit. It sucks. Remember something for me before we start. No matter what you see and no matter what happens in this fucking game, it gets worse. Who's it gets way fucking worse but we've got to start somewhere and this game is plenty fucking bad so let's go so where do i possibly start nothing that makes any sense at all it comes off like a script written by an eight-year-old it's like finished the script in one draft like you turned it in and they decided to go with it without anyone saying that it made no sense at all or was a stupid incoherent mess I guess at this point, he probably got rid of those people that questioned creatively a long time ago. According to Desiree himself, he was actually fired from Ubisoft. In a statement to Polygon, he says, Contrary to any statements made earlier today, this morning I was terminated by Ubisoft. I was notified of this termination in person, handed a termination notice, and was unceremoniously escorted out of the building by two guards without being able to say goodbye to my team or collect my personal belongings. This was not my decision. Ubisoft's actions are baseless and without merit. I intend to fight Ubisoft vigorously for my rights, for my team, and for my game. At THQ Montreal, Desley was working on a project codenamed 1666. Little is known about the game and its current status. Stay tuned, IGN. Was this a story that needed to be told? Well, any story can be interesting. It just depends on how it's done. Was this the way it should have been done? And lastly, the only good thing is... We used one another. You're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? We can, together. Oh my god. It happens tonight. Please. Uh, oh, a little kid? Well, I'll, I'll give it a shot, I guess. But wow, this is kind of exciting. And then you saw the movie. Oh. It was at that moment you learned to never trust your own judgment again. To live the rest of your life plagued with doubt and mistrust of everything and everyone. You didn't realize that the nightmare of your own life had just begun. Well, don't worry. I'm here to help. I'm here to bring closure to everyone so we can all move on. Let's jump in, shall we? I hate it when he does that. Yeah, I bet you do, asshole. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's good. And the cow says move. Yeah. You know what? I have never expected it can be a problem. One question I have been asked like 20 times in the last week. How to start a new game in AC Unity. Is that a problem, I thought? Oh, that's a really problem. As you see in the menu, you only have an option to continue. There is no new game. In all AC games was option to start new game and maybe save like three games. And here, no new game. The only way now to start new game in AC Unity. Follow these steps. Go to System Storage Management from the PSN settings. I don't know how on Xbox I will explain from PSN. And choose Application Saved Data. Of course, it's Assassin's Creed Unity and you will see like three items, probably it's... Germain était là. Je connais désormais ses projets. C'est mais écoutez. Je sais mais écoutez. Est-ce là l'estime que tu témoignes à la conf... Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. 
we have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. Welcome to Helix. With all due respect, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. What's the matter with you? In the first five minutes, we've already gotten into territory where every single line in action makes no sense again. Just stand there looking right into it. It makes no sense and it's confusing to us. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably- Is everyone blind and stupid? His hand reaches the top. I see someone as well equipped with meaningful dead parent mementos. Okay, like his dad gets killed at the beginning. It's the beginning of the game, not the story. Spoilers! The very beginning of the game. Very beginning. It's the first thing that happens. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna be an assassin now, aren't I? Haven't we seen this opening in like two Assassin's Creed games already? Ezio saw his father killed in Assassin's Creed 2, and Connor saw his mother killed in Assassin's Creed 3. And now that I'm thinking of it, pretty much all of Ubisoft's games these days use dead family for motivation. In Watch Dogs, it's your niece. In Far Cry 3, your brother. I haven't played Far Cry 4 yet, but I'd wager there's a dead parent or two in there. Excuse me, just a moment. Perfect. <laughs> Arno Dorian. Yes. Father dead. Yes. Then what? He's adopted. Then his adopted father gets killed. Also? <laughs> yes. What? Yes, father. Yes, father. I live in France, but I have a British accent. <laughs> I've seen you. You have to experience it the way I initially experienced it. On its release date, day one, just no Q public, playing it for the first time. Help me. My brain is collapsing inside itself. Alors il faut que tu voles, mon chien Du calme, Victor, je suis juste venu pour maman. Ce n'est pas le cas. On est en France. Je vais te tuer Oh, fais attention à toi, tu vas te faire mal. Ah I just went on this huge, obsessive compulsive rant about a minuscule, completely insignificant aspect of the game. Maybe 10 seconds of all the thoughts that run through my head. Pretty much all the time. I'm not even kidding. I, I cannot turn it off. I'm not even an hour into this game. I think I'm gonna die. We all know what Milkshake brought you boys to the yard. Blinding historical accuracy! I'm Naomi Kyle, and this is IGN News. Ex-French minister and former presidential candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon has attacked Assassin's Creed Unity's depiction of the French Revolution as being a travesty. Main complaints center on the positive characterization of figures like the treacherous King Louis XVI and his wife, that chrétien Marie Antoinette, who is celebrated as a poor little rich girl. Mélenchon said it is propaganda against the people. The people who are portrayed as barbarians, bloodthirsty savages in 1789. There were the poor aristocrats, and they are presented as fine, upstanding people. And the man who was our liberator at a certain moment of the revolution because the revolution lasted a long time, Robespierre is presented as a monster. Robespierre has long been a controversial figure with opposing historians, labeling him as a passionate spokesperson for the downtrodden or a dictator who callously ordered the mass executions of anyone he suspected as being disloyal. Ménéchon concluded his complaints by saying it presents an image of hatred of the revolution, hatred of the people, hatred of the republic, which is rampant in the far right. It looks beautiful. Everything was fresh. Everything was new. Nice job, everyone. No one cares. Oh. Hello? Hi, Mr. Plinkett. It's me again.
again. The limo's gonna be there in about 15 minutes. Thank you. I'll be down then. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh.